One of our most popular DIYs of all time is the DIY period kit. And I've gotten lots of requests for a no sew version. So that's what we're making today. This post is sponsored by Collective Bias and their advertiser Advil. You can find the full supply list over on my blog. The link is down in the description of this video. You're gonna take two 12 by 18 pieces of felt, overlap them halfway to create the base of the um, clutch. Now, uh, you don't need to glue it together yet. Just kind of fit it together so you can kind of get an idea of where you're going. Next, lay out the piece of felt on a piece of fabric. This is going to be your lining and you're going to cut about an inch bigger than the piece of felt all the way around. Fold over the ends and you can use the piece of felt as a guide for how big this needs to be. So you'll fold over the end so that you get a nice uh, folded over crease on the end there. So it's a nice finished edge and not frayed. You can use pins or clips or even clothes pins to hold this down um, while you iron. Now you don't want to have the piece of felt underneath this while you're ironing because the felt is made out of recycled plastic bottles and it will melt and ruin your iron. So make sure that you remove that. Now to make a nice corner, open up the seams, fold the corner in diagonally and then iron it, then fold it back down again and you'll get these nice pretty pleated corners that look really, really finished. Next, use some fabric glue to glue down all of the seams. Like I said, this is a no sew project, so we're going to be using glue to put everything together except for the magnetic snaps, which those are just put in with prongs, but I'll tell you more about that later. Now, to have the fabric glue dry really, really well, you'll want to pin all of this creases down so that they have time to dry and the fabric really sticks together. Now the pins aren't gonna get stuck in there. They'll be able to come out really easy. As well, these clips, you can just pop them off um, once the glue has dried. So you'll wanna let the glue dry for about half an hour on that. And I decided to make a pocket for the inside of the clutch. Now this is going to hold the bottle of Advil menstrual pain. Uh, pills. This is a pain relieving pill and my blog post tells you way more about that plus there's um, info about how to get that at Walmart. So I just uh, made pockets that are going to be about two and a half inches by eight inches wide and then press the, the ends down to make that nice finished edge again using the iron. Um, you want to measure the size of your clutch. So our fabric that we're starting out with is 12 by 18. Half the size of that is going to be the size of the clutch. So it'll be 12 by nine. So I wanna make sure that the pocket fits inside of the clutch. So um, I made the pocket two and a half by eight. Uh, I also did the same thing here on the corners with the iron, opened up the creases, folded the corner inward, ironed it, and then folded everything back down and ironed it again. So you get that nice corner pleat there and then use the fabric glue to hold all of the edges down again. Because this is gonna be a pocket, you definitely don't wanna have a frayed fabric edge because it will look really gross inside of the bag. Once you start using it, it'll fray more. So once everything's dry, remove all of the pins and the clips, etc. And this is going to be forming the lining of your uh, clutch. So overlap the two pieces of felt so that nine inches worth of felt is overlapping each other and then dry fit the lining into the felt uh, contraption that you have created now. So um, you can use fabric glue to glue down. I just start at one end, glue down the fabric. However, this fabric glue that I use does not work well with felt and that's because felt has a lot of nap to it. There's lots of fibers together and it's very thick. Whereas like a cotton fabric is very smooth, it's really easy for this glue to work on it. So later on you'll see that I'm gonna use a felt and foam glue that's specially formulated just for felt. Um, so keep that in mind when you're making a project with felt, you probably need a different glue than you would need for the regular cotton fabric. So I use the clips to kind of hold down that glued end, it ends up not sticking, but I'll show you more about that later. But for the cotton um, pocket that's gonna go on the cotton fabric, that fabric fusion glue works super, super great. So I just put that on three edges. You don't wanna glue all the four edges cause then it's not a pocket anymore. Um, and put that on the inside of the clutch. And next I went in with that foam and felt glue and glued those two nine inch sections of the um, 
felt pieces together. So it's overlapping nine inches on each piece of felt. So they're 12 by 18, so nine inches is halfway. And then I just use the glue to go around the three edges there. And that's because on the back of the clutch, there's another pocket. So on one side it's the flap, and on the other side is a pocket on the outside, which is great for like putting a notebook or whatever. So once that's all glued down, I decided I wanted to create an angle to the flap. So I marked it two inches on one side and then used a piece of chalk to draw from the two inch mark down to the corner so that I had this angled edge to the flap and I just used scissors to trim that away. Now, if you don't cut straight, you might need to trim away a little bit of the felt if it looks jagged, uh, especially if you're not going to be using any kind of trim to finish the end. So I'm gonna be using fringe, but um, if you just wanna have a regular flap, then make sure you trim it nicely. Remove the clips from that one end that you <laughs> glued down that probably didn't work or that I glued down that didn't work. You're gonna use the right kind of glue. And you're going to use magnetic snaps here to close the, um, the inside of the clutch. So what I did is I got some magnetic snaps. You're gonna press the prongs on the back of the snaps down into the fabric so it makes an indentation. Then use a craft knife to poke holes where the indentations are. Then you will push the prongs of the snaps through the indentations, put the little plate on the back, and then use a pair of pliers to bend the prongs down really, really firmly. Now you can bend them to the inside or bend them to the outside. Uh, it depends on what you, how you wanna do it. So next you'll kind of position uh, the other end of the snaps. So since they're magnetic, go ahead and remove the, usually they're packaged with a little piece of plastic so they don't stick together. Remove the piece of plastic, stick the snaps together, and then you can press the prongs down on the other side of the lining so that this will close. So once I had my two uh, pieces of magnet closure stuck together, I went in with that felt glue and just kind of reinforced everything there on that one end. And now I'm ready to make sure that my lining is all positioned and go ahead and position the second side of the prongs. Now, when you're folding over a clutch like this, there's going to be ripples. And what you don't wanna do is fold it over and not pay attention to the bottom. So I'm smoothing it out there to make sure that everything is lined up correctly, pressing the prongs into the other end of the fabric, cutting the holes with the craft knife, and then pressing the prongs of the other end of the magnetic snaps through, putting the uh, little back plate on, and then again, bending those prongs down with the pliers. Now, if you don't have a craft knife, you can use a razor blade if you want. Um, the craft knife I'm using is actually a scalpel. So you, if you have a scalpel, you can use that too. All right, the next thing is to glue down the um, other two sides of the lining and uh, I'm only gluing the sides down because that top part there, that is going to be a packet, a pocket that is a secret compartment to hide feminine products like maxi pads. And you can see here, I'm reinforcing the top two edges of that corner, just, you know, with some glue, just to make sure that it really, really sticks well, because you don't want to have this flap kind of come undone. So again, just double checking my positioning, making sure I don't have any creases there in the fold once this is folded up. And then once that's all together, just glue the sides down. Again, I'm using the fabric glue that works great for cotton to cotton. Um, if you don't glue the sides of this down, then it's just a folio and you can't put stuff in it because it'll fall out the sides. So I glued the, the two sides down for the most part. And the snaps are just gonna kind of help hold everything closed in together um, so that if you put like your wallet in here, it's not gonna fall out um, of the top. So I used some clips there to hold the fabric nice and tight together while the glue dries. Again, you could use clothespins, binder clips, whatever you have. I didn't use stick pins because um, it was too hard to get through all those layers of fabric. Next, on the end of the flap, I decided to glue some fringe. I glued mine on the inside. You can glue yours on the outside. You can also use like a studded trim, a pretty ribbon, or even a piece of fabric if you want. Um, or you can even cut a design like scallops or something on the end of the felt. Once you have your trim glued in place, trim the ends. And because I used fringe, it is going to fray like crazy. So I used some of that fabric fusion glue and saturated the ends of the fringe where I cut them and let that dry. And that's gonna hold it all together. Next, remove the clips from the sides and your clutch is ready to go. Go ahead and stock it with your feminine products and put your Advil menstrual pain pills in there. Nobody has to know if you're on your period or not. 
and you can go to the bathroom discreetly. You can be prepared for all things that come your way. Thank you so much for watching this. If you think this video was useful, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and shared it with any of your friends that you think would benefit from watching it. Thanks so much. Bye.